This is the spacious marketplace of Leyburn, and we're here on a very bright autumn day. Lovely sunshine, clear sky, a bit cool, but it'll be nice when we're out walking. And the dominant feature in the marketplace is the town hall, which was built by Lord Bolton in 1856. The present owner still lives in Bolton Hall, holder of the present title, um, and we shall see that on our walk round today, Bolton Hall. But first of all, we're going to walk on to the Leyburn Shawl, the pride of the town, just beyond the back here and uh, have a view because this is really the gateway to Wensleydale. <clears throat> As we leave the top corner of the busy marketplace, keep your eyes open for the signpost directing us to the shawl. Our first route takes us along the edge of the Leyburn Shawl high above the valley and then descend down through the hillside pastures to the parkland of Bolton Hall. There's a chance to view Bolton Hall from the driveway before reaching the little village of Wensley and then back up the hillside to Leyburn. There's another sign, way to the shawl. And through the kissing gate, off onto the shawl itself. And soon we'll get our glorious view of Wensleydale and looking over towards Penn Hill. Well, here we are at the start of our edge of the shawl, and just look at that view. Isn't that delightful? There's the majestic bulk of Penn Hill with its distinctive and unmistakable summit, flat summit of moorland, and a superb view looking up the Dale of Wensleydale, a broad dale and uh, dotted with trees. Uh, further up becomes narrower, but here a glorious panorama across the dale. Wensleydale is the broadest of the Yorkshire Dales, broad enough to take a road on both sides of the dale, from Laban to Hawes. And on the flanks of the dale, there are many viewpoints which command a spectacular panorama of the alluring Yorkshire landscape. Having had time to ponder, we're on our way along the shawl. Tradition has it that Leyburn's shawl takes its name from Mary Queen of Scots, who was held prisoner for a time at nearby Bolton Castle. She escaped one day, but was recaptured on this rocky terrace outside Leyburn, where she had dropped her shawl.
Having come down the hillside pastures, we find a firmer footing on the farm tracks, which can at times be muddy, and then join the driveway through the parkland of Bolton Hall. This is Bolton Hall, which faces over the valley here. It was built by the Marquis of Winchester in the 17th century, who married one of the daughters of the last Lord Scroop from Bolton Castle. That was slighted at the end of the Civil War, and so this became the new family home and it has been for the last 300 years but sadly in 1902 the whole building apart from the main part was gutted by fire and had to be rebuilt but for 300 years it's been the family home for the Boltons Morning. Good morning. Very pleasant morning. It is. Yes. It's time now to stride out on the less strenuous part of our walk, which heads towards the village of Wensley, which gives its name to the Dale. The little village, which comes into view shortly, is largely unnoticed by visitors who motor quickly through on their way up the dale. Once it was the main market town for this part of the dale, and it reigned supreme for at least three centuries. Sadly, its good fortune collapsed almost overnight when the population was devastated in 1563 by the dreaded plague. The survivors and the market trade moved up the hill to Leyburn and the almost deserted Wensley never recovered its former importance. Like a crawl. Followers of the James Herriot story may recognise the large village church. It was chosen by the BBC for the setting of the TV wedding of James and Helen Alderson. Out of the village we head up the hillside back to Leyburn 